going on everyone? I know I said in my last vlog that I was gonna be videoing on Saturday the next day because I'm gonna start up the vlog tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog all day on Saturday. Well, I ended up not recording yesterday. It wasn't anything going on. It was just like a basic Saturday. But today I picked up the camera. It's a Sunday. Uh, so I have two days before having to fly out to China. So today is kind of just a day of uh, relaxing a little bit before I you know start all my traveling all over again now we just got done uh, seeing a house here in Austin that does not mean we're moving or we're staying here in Austin uh -huh. does not mean that we have not made a decision yet but we went to go see this open house super nice house but the yard was so small that I will not move in a place that has a yard that size I'm not even kidding when I say the yard was about the length of this room. So Gainer would not have anywhere to run around. Yeah, it was super, super small. So we will not be buying that house for sure. Let me show you something that I picked up for Shelby and then myself. Uh, so this is Shelby's fault, what I bought. Uh -huh. Here, Shelby got on to me. It came in the mail the other day. So Shelby came in there when I was working the other day and was like, hey, look at this a hoodie that was on sale. And it was like only like 30 bucks or something. And she was like, oh, you could order for me. You know, it'd be a cool gift to have. And I was like, okay. So I get on there, Hibbit Sports, and was gonna order this. And all of a sudden, right beside it, the sale item was shoes. What else was So there, I had to buy some more shoes. So I went ahead and picked up some black Adidas shoes. Now I don't have any, any pair of black shoes. It's crazy. I've had so many shoes over the years that I've bought, but never just a plain black because I personally don't really like them. I like to stand out like my shoes stand out. I wear a lot of black clothes, so like my shirts and pants and stuff. So I think that I personally like color with my shoes so that it doesn't clash with like my black clothes and stuff. And then I also got some socks to match those shoes. Got some Adidas socks. And then this is for China as well. This came from Amazon. It's Adidas fanny pack. Shelby's like, you really want a fanny pack? But really, it's like a purse because this fanny pack it's is like is massive. It's a satchel. Plus, it's not a man purse. It's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. Yeah, it's like a backpack almost. This thing is huge. So I don't think this is going to be going around my waist. I think it's going to be going around me because the reason why I want this for China is because a lot of the times I don't want to carry a big backpack and then having my camera, my wallet and stuff, I want to have it where it's kind of in front of me and stuff so that I can watch it because when you're walking around with so many crowds of people, I'm scared that they'll grab my wallet. And if someone gets my passport, and I'm not able to make it back. That would be horrible. So today uh, we're going to be working out. I'm going to be going to to the new gym that I recorded going to take a tour of it I actually joined yesterday so I'm gonna be able to get all kinds of sweet angles because no one's gonna be there no staffs gonna be there and they do not care that I record so I'm gonna have a protein bar and then we're gonna head to the gym and hit some legs today so mr. Brady is asleep right now taking his second nap of the day uh, <laughs> oh my gosh two nights ago I stayed up way too late I don't remember the last time I stayed up this late it was four in the morning when I went to bed and I paid for it all day yesterday. And yesterday was my uh, off day because I was just so tired. I haven't taken an off day since last, I think Friday. So I was due for uh, an off day, but I wasn't gonna take it until I actually fly out to China on Tuesday because I stay on a flight for about 20 hours. But I could not work out yesterday because I was so tired. So I went to bed the earliest I've been to bed and I don't remember how long. And I went to bed at 10 o'clock and I woke up around three o'clock ready to go. I was like wide awake. I went, woke up, walked around the house a little bit, used the restroom, and I was like, well, I'm ready to go because my body's so used to uh, only getting around like four to five hours of sleep a night that my body was just like, okay, it's time to wake up. So I had to actually lay back down and try to go back to sleep. I didn't go back to sleep until about, I think, four o'clock. And then at four o'clock, Brady starts crying. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I ended up getting more sleep than what I have been. But me going to sleep at 10 o'clock, I really didn't get, I mean, much more sleep than what I normally do, even though I went to bed way earlier. So I'm about to have a protein bar and I'm drinking one of these uh, flavored waters. These things are amazing because it kind of fills you up. And dieting, you're all the time hungry. And so anytime I get hungry, I like to have one of these because it has the fizzies in there. So it kind of like fills your stomach up a little bit, honestly. And then uh, instead of drinking like tons of just unflavored water, this helps a whole lot to get your water in as well. So I'm gonna have this protein bar. 
like I said, from bodybuilding.com. And then uh, take a pre-workout and head to the gym. I'm looking forward to working out at this new gym. It's super tiny, but I think it's gonna be pretty good for angles and stuff, and I think the lighting's gonna be pretty good as well. Uh, we'll see, though. Oh, and if you didn't notice, I got a haircut uh, yesterday. So I'm back to my old hairstyle. I know a lot of people are probably happy about that because everyone hated my hairstyle like a month ago. And looking at the shoulder uh, workouts is coming out on bodybuild.com, I agree. I don't know why why I did that to my hair. I'm so like embarrassed over that program. They sent me over the promos and stuff and looking at it now, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? I should have just stuck with what I've been doing for like years. <laughs> Speaking of programs, that program is actually coming out March 15th. If your shoulders are lacking and you wanna do something about it, you need to make training them your top priority. Just add these two workouts into your split each week to build bigger and more defined delts. 30 Day Shoulders on Bodybuild.com All Access. That is the very first program of the series other than the ab program I did for bodybuilding. So that comes out on March 15th. If any of y'all want to check that out, it's on bodybuilding.com all access. And then every two months is gonna be another 30 day series of another muscle group. So I have chest coming, arms, legs, shoulders, and all those will be released every two months. Got in another package just now uh, Brady, that little monster, slept for about 30 minutes and he needs way longer of a nap, so now he's crying. So we're going back and forth trying to comfort him. He does that a whole lot. He'll only sleep for about 30 minutes on the dot and all of a sudden he like wakes up ready to go but he's really like mad, like he's not getting enough sleep. But at first he's like, oh, I'm good to go. And then he's just like grumpy. So we have to like keep him in there, go in there and comfort him like every three minutes. Uh, it's just irritating, really irritating. Let me show you what I got uh, in this package. This is also from Amazon. It is a new tripod, it has no photo in here. So this is a new tripod. The other tripod I have actually broke and it's an old one. I mean, it is no telling how old that tripod is. It wasn't even mine, it was my dad's back, I don't know how long ago that he gave that to me, but got a new one in so I can get sick angles at the gym. And then I can actually travel with this one uh, and it's a big tripod. It's like a 60 something inch tripod. So pretty uh, good one. I've been reading reviews on Amazon and YouTube videos and stuff. So this is supposed to be a really good tripod. So I'm gonna be using this today in the gym as well. Let me see if you can guess what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Yes, I'm about to take my pre-workout, and yes, I'm being super quiet or trying to be because I don't want to wake up Mr. Brady, and every little noise right now is waking that kid up. It's irritating. I'm going to take the pre-build by Muscle Tech, the gummy worm flavor, the best flavor, uh, and then I have my water prepared here. I drink this whole thing of water throughout my workouts, and then throughout my workouts, I drink Amino Build, which is BCA, so I sip on that throughout my workout, so I'm going to... Drink this, and then we're gonna head to the gym now. Just pulled up at this new gym. I can't remember how much I recorded of it last time when I did the tour, but check it out, it's like a small warehouse. Uh, back here they have tires and a turf that you can do cardio and stuff in. Today I'm not gonna be doing that because it is uh, like 30 to 40 degrees, so it's pretty cold here in Austin. Uh, so we're gonna go in here and kill this workout. I'll take you around and show you the gym here in a bit. I'm hoping that no one's in here. I see two cars right here, so they might be in there, but besides them, it should be pretty empty. What is going on everyone? I'm telling you, working out at this gym and recording here is incredible. I've been getting honestly burnt out at Gold's Gym because I'm constantly having to worry about filming, but going here with hardly anyone working out here and no one caring that I'm recording, it's just been so incredible. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this leg workout. So I started off with back squats. I did six sets of 10 reps, yes, six sets. I was resting around two minutes in between sets, so resting a little bit longer than what I uh, typically do. Uh, most of the time I, when I work out, I rest only for 60 to 90 seconds, but with these heavy lifts, I was uh, resting for 
uh, two minutes. So I did, uh, like I said, six sets of heavy squats for 10 reps. And then after that, went into this machine that most gyms probably do not have this. So your gym probably does not have this machine, but it felt amazing. Uh, if your gym does not have this uh, particular machine, you can use a hack squat, which is totally fine. Uh, but this machine actually feels like it's hitting my glutes and hamstrings a little bit more than a hack squat, a normal hack squat. So I did uh, five sets of those for 12 reps. Uh, and then uh, throughout my workout, I'm showing you right now, I take BCA, so I take amino build. So I take right at like two scoops of amino build and I sip on it throughout the workout. And then I alternate between like water and BCAs. Uh, what BCAs will help do, help you recover. Plus it has ingredients, the amino build has some ingredients in there that will help your endurance throughout the workout. So that's why I take it throughout uh, every workout. So after doing that hack squat uh, variation machine, uh, went into leg press. I did six sets of these for 20 reps. Now, what I did differently uh, than my normal workouts is I did 20 reps without stopping at all. So I don't rest up at the top. A lot of the times when you see me work legs, I kind of rest up at the top when I get exhausted and then I squeeze out a few more reps. But if I stopped at all uh, before hitting 20 reps, then I would go down and wait. So I had a weight that I could do 20 reps up without resting. So keep tension on my legs the whole entire time. After that went into a superset, walking dumbbell lunges. I did uh, five sets of these, tons of sets of lunges uh, for uh, 10 reps on each leg, super set with leg extensions. And the leg extensions were until failure, which was around 12 to 15. So I was trying to get out around 12 to 15. And that was extremely hard to do after doing the walking lunges because my legs were exhausted at that point. I was only using, I think, 40 pound dumbbells with the walking lunges because of all those other squats and leg press. Uh, you know, I was pretty fatigued at this point. So the leg extensions just going down under control and then going up pretty quickly, trying to go up as high as I can and squeeze those quads as much as possible. Uh, now, like I said, a lot of sets here, five sets of that super set. Uh, this was a very tough workout. So if you try it out, you're going to need a very good pre-workout because it was exhausting. So after that super set, went into another super set. This is lying hamstring curls. I did five sets of around 12 to 15 reps. On the last set, did a double drop set. And what I was supersetting the lying hamstring curls with is sissy squat. So this gym in particular has a sissy squat uh, machine or I guess uh, apparatus for it. A lot of the gyms don't have this anymore because it's an old school uh, machine. So your legs are actually locked in here and I'm holding a sandbag. So I did those five sets for around 10 reps with this sandbag, holding this sandbag right in front of me. And then when I would hit failure for around 10 to 12 reps, I would immediately drop the sandbag and try to squeeze out another like five to six reps or just go into failure with that drop set. So every single time I did these sissy squats, I would do a drop set, just uh, just drop it and just do body weight and just squeeze out, like I said, another five to six uh, sets. After that super set went into calves and calves are one of those muscles that I really need to work on and I have been working on for years and years and years, but I think they have to do so much with genetics and for me, my body type, genetically, I just do not have well-developed calves. And I've tried everything, super heavy weight for low reps, high reps with low weight, and then working them twice a day, working them like four times a week, working them every day, working them every other day, and nothing seems to build my calves up. Now, they have grown over the years, but nowhere near where I want them to be. So I did the seated calf raise, uh, five sets of around 10 to 12 reps, super set with standing calf raises for five uh, sets to 10 to 12 reps. And then on the last two sets did a double drop set. And that's actually the end of the workout. Now I did do some foam rolling at the end of this workout. I did not film it, but I like to do foam rolling after my workouts for around 10 minutes just to kind of loosen up my muscles and kind of break up any knots that is in that fascia. And it can help the recovery process as well. And as you can see, I did do some flexing. It is actually really good to flex at the end of your set to help drive blood and nutrients into that muscle. Now that's the end of the workout. If you want to give this workout a try, just scroll down to the description box. It'll be all written out down there. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching.
Just wrapped up that leg workout here at this gym. Whew, it was a good workout. Check out my beautiful car. I'm gonna miss this thing when I go to China. Anytime I go on trips, I can't wait to get back to my car. <laughs> so now I'm actually headed to the grocery store because I need to pick up food uh, because today is gonna be my first high carb day in about two weeks. So I did not eat any like really high carb meals uh, since my birthday two weeks ago. So tonight we're gonna make uh, low fat burgers and I'm gonna have some fries. I think we're gonna air fry some homemade fries or bake some fries. So I'm looking forward to that because like I said, I've not had very many carbs uh, for like two weeks because I kind of tried to deplete as much as possible before China. One hour later. Just made it back from the grocery store. Let me show you the ingredients to make these low fat burgers. So of course you have to have buns. Uh, buns are already, this is just plain buns from the grocery store. It has, uh, this is onion flavored, but for one bun it's 150 calories, two and a half grams of fat, so not much fat, and then 28 carbs in just regular buns. And then I have 99% lean ground turkey. And then for french fries, we're gonna cut up just some white potatoes, uh, just like three of these, and put them in the oven and bake those for, I think like 30 minutes or something. And uh, that's gonna be dinner. So we just got done chopping up the fries, about to stick those in the oven for about 30 minutes. Let me show you my new cereal finds. Check it out, went to Target yesterday. I'm not too sure about this one right here, Peeps. I absolutely hate Peeps, but the cereal actually sounds pretty good. It's marshmallow flavored cereal. And so I'm thinking it might be pretty good. We'll see, I might have to throw away this whole box if it tastes just like a Peep, because like I said, I hate Peeps. And Peeps to me don't really taste like marshmallows because I love marshmallows, but something funky about those Peeps, I'm not sure. And then I'm about to try this right now. This is Hostess. Uh, little powdered mini donuts. I love those little powdered mini donuts. So I'm hoping that it tastes like those. We'll see. So I'm about to have a bowl of that before I actually eat dinner. Dinner served. Check it out. I have two burgers. The French fries are done. Shelby got a burger, French fries, and Mr. Brady. Woo! <laughs> Say hello. So we're going to sit here. Watch some television, we're watching ridiculousness. And gonna enjoy the night and enjoy these carbs. Two hours later. So now it is 11.30. We're staying up way too late. We stayed up watching a movie. We didn't even finish it, but we need to go to bed because Mr. Brady's gonna make us pay for it and punish us and wake up like he did. Last night, he woke up around four o'clock in the morning. Uh, so bad. I'm hoping he doesn't do it tonight or early this morning, but we'll see. But I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys, peace. We'll see. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know how to end this.